All right, what to do when things go wrong. Uh, this week on the show we're going to talk about what happens when you have high goals and high expectations but you fall a little flat. Um, I'm going to be speaking from experience because that's what's happened this week. As you know, I'm doing a 12-week challenge right now with my wife and she's just killing it. Uh, she lost two pounds this week and she's almost to her goal weight already so these last 10 weeks she can kind of coast. I didn't kill it this week. So last week I lost six pounds, uh, which I knew I'd lose a lot that first week because I was holding a lot of water weight and stuff like that. This week um, was getting back into a normal routine and and uh, a few things just didn't go very well. And, and it's not because I wasn't trying. I was meeting all my goals. I was exercising regularly. I was eating healthy. Now during week one, I didn't have any snacks. I just ate my normal meals. This week I did have two planned snacks during the evening uh, and that might have contributed to where I was. Honestly, I was hungry this week. There are a few days where I just really wanted little snacks. And when I ate them, I felt better. Um, I didn't like binge eat, although one meal I did go unmeasured um, and I did gain weight that meal. probably put on an extra pound or two um, because I was in a rush. I had to throw things together, get the kids fed. and. I was eating while I was cooking for them, so I ate that extra food while I was cooking, and it just, you know, uh, by the end of the day, I, I wasn't where I wanted to be, even though the week started out strong. So then I get to today, and I woke up early, I was out on the road by about 5 o'clock this morning, uh, getting my run in, and I was excited, but things weren't perfect. Now, some of the things that weren't perfect I knew about, for example, I had this blood blister on my foot, which I know is real attractive. Um, and I'll talk about that in a different video because I've learned a lot about blood blisters in the last three weeks as I've had this one. Um, but I had that and that made it harder to run because it was a little uncomfortable. I also have, um, I've talked about my neuropathy in the past. Turns out it might not be neuropathy because I did the shock test and it came back negative. So I don't know what's wrong with me. All I know is that my feet hurt really bad most of the time. And this week it was worse than usual. Um, this week, probably 90% of the time, all day long, every day, I felt tingling in my feet. There were a lot of times where I didn't feel my feet, I just felt this warm bubble underneath my legs. Uh, and it was an uncomfortable week, and it was bad this morning as I went out on my run. So when my wife called mid-run and said, hey, I'm going out on a run, I thought, oh, this is an excuse to walk <laughs> for me. So I did. So I met her, and we ran a little together and walked together, which was awesome. And this is one of the points I want to get to this week. When things aren't going well and you're doing everything right, it's okay. It's not a big deal. You just keep moving forward. And that's what I did today is I kept walking. Um, when I got done with her, I went back and I ran a few more miles. Now, I had thought I'd do 15 or 16 miles today. I ended up only doing 13. Um, which I was a little disappointed about, but then I came back to the house and got on the bike and put in some miles that way And this afternoon I'm going out to do an active activity with the kids. So it's not like I'm a failure I just didn't do what I was expecting to do um, With the weight loss this week. I my goal was to go from 219.6 down to I think 217 I think that was the goal for this week. I didn't do it. I I'm at about 219 even right now I might lose another pound today when my official weigh-in happens um, but I certainly didn't get the full two and a half, three pounds that I wanted. And part of that, in fact, most of that was probably diet. I did drink a ton this week, so I might be a little bit overhydrated, um, but I'll take that water weight any time because that's going to go off eventually. I, I still have another 10 weeks in this challenge. I want to get down under 200 pounds, and I'm still on my way to that goal even though I didn't lose significant weight. Uh, this week. So the message for this week is even when things are challenging, uh, just keep moving. Just keep working on what you're doing. Um, you're going to have a few bad days. Uh, and the great thing about losing weight for your lifestyle, not for a diet, not for a fad, not for a temporary thing, is life happens and you just keep moving forward and you make adjustments and it'll work out in the end. So that's it for this week. Have a great one. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.